Okay, so here's the mint, guys. I haven't given you guys an update. So we moved it from inside, right? Because we got this big pergola thing. So we moved it from inside where it was in this corner to there's one down there and then there's one right here. This has the mint, okay? So what it does is it recycles the water, guys, like I said. And then down here are the goldfish and the different fish right here. And you see how this, the water is coming out and stuff like that? That kind of does it and it does it on both. Then there's Lily sunning herself. And then you have fresh mint. Mint never dies, it always grows. If you plant one plant, it will grow a lot for you. So this is all from one plant of mint that my mom and dad plant. And then over here, you have fresh chive onions that I've cooked with and I've actually had them in a lot of my food. So that's fun fact with that. I don't know what that is. Oh, potatoes. My mom is growing potatoes. You see potatoes right here? She is growing potatoes. And then all it does, see the big potato that is grown right there? Those are two potatoes, okay? And then this big tree right here is gonna be mangoes one day. Um, those are sprouting, so those will be mangoes, okay? So now what we're gonna do is, we're gonna watch out for the landmine of dog crap because the dogs poop out here. Um, we're gonna walk down, I helped my mom and dad build this path. Um, we laid a lot of, um, one is cracked, I didn't do it. We laid a lot of, concrete and then i helped my dad and mom laid these pavers one day and um so that's what we did basically and then she has this little stuff for the little um the honey suckles that's for that bird and for the nectar and stuff and then over here oh that's a big slug you see the slug over here we have the same thing this one just doesn't have a, a fence on it but this is strawberries. My mom is growing a lot of strawberries. See the strawberry? The fresh strawberry right there? She's growing a lot of strawberries over here. This one is empty. This is arugula salad. And then those are the little balls that hold it right there. And then the neighbors, they have mangoes coming too. And then you hear the dogs. So we're gonna walk back. And then we have these pretty flowers, as you can see. And then you see my dog, Lily. She's all the way down here. So, and there is a hulk that comes in this backyard. I just have not seen the hulk in like forever. Like very, very, very long time since we've seen the hulk. I don't know, my dog likes to eat this grass, so she's probably sick. Because when dogs eat grass, they're sick. And then over here are jalapeno peppers. You see the peppers right here on the sign? Peppers are right here, little fresh baby peppers, and another baby pepper tree, and more peppers. And then down here, I did not step in no poop. Down here are scotch bonnet peppers. You see the scotch bonnet peppers, like the sign says. And then here's a bell pepper. She has a baby bell pepper. You see the baby bell pepper? So, and then these were the little tree myrtles. Um, no, these were our. These were not tree bear. These were our, gua our gua guava trees. These give us guava. See them, they're sprouting again. And then here are the mango trees. You see the mango trees? And then the bird nest, where birds actually come and eat the bird seed. And it looks like human bird seed that they eat. The sunflowers, it looks like human sunflowers. Why did I say human bird seed? That sounded so stupid. An English share. And then over here, I don't know what that is. That might be another ivy that's growing up, 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 up. But yeah, these are just PPC pipes, guys, that she uses to hold the plants on. And then I can't believe her potatoes are that big. Look at this. I don't want to pull it because it's not done yet. But she just took the potato peels and just grew them. And see the onions? The onions are nice and fresh. And the mint. The mint. Okay, let's go inside. I'm going to show you guys the inside. And then more flowers. There's Lily again. Our, okay, so we're gonna go inside. I told you guys I have to paint this soon because she built that, so I have to paint that soon. My mom and my dad built that, and that's her compost pile inside. Let me show you the compost pile. See, and this little cabinet is a compost pile. See all that? Compost. And there's a little frog that jumped out. There's Lily, she's trying to say hi again. Okay, so we're gonna go inside. Go, Lily. 
And then here's her ferns. This big pergola looking thing. Okay. So that was why they had to move the plants that used to be over here. There's still plants over there. Ivy, flowers, a hammock for my dad. Under the pergola thing, it's really pretty. Fake frogs. Lily, come! I don't trust her inside, I have food inside. She'll try to eat it because she'll think that I'm not looking. There you, okay, so fun fact. I don't know because I don't think I was recording earlier, but my mom used to have a big koi pond here, like a really, really, really big koi pond with like a lot of big koi, and koi are expensive. But she got tired of taking care of it, so she got rid of them, and she put them in that bucket over there. So now she just put this swan that we've had for forever and this little kid's bench for the kids to sit on that they don't really sit on. Um, and then another thing, barbecue pit. She built this thing, this whole other pergola thing, another firm. Fun fact, bamboo she found on the side of the street, I think, or someone gave her the bamboo, and they're growing. Bamboo are really pretty and strong. Um, another fern that came from one plant. The fountain, I've showed you guys the fountain that she grew or made by herself, brick by brick. And it actually works. She just turned it off. Um, it actually works. And then in here, my my grandma gave us these different signs that say stuff in them. These different signs, they're all back there too. So she gave that to my mom for Christmas one year. And then me and my mom got this fan at Home Depot. It actually works and it's really, it's really cold. This turns into a bed. You can actually sleep on this. This turns into a bed and look at the stars. I don't know what she's trying to grow there. Another firm, ABC mat for kids that is inside the house, but it has to be out here because my dog keeps peeing on it. So we're just letting it air dry. Basketball net, another fern. Outside shower that I've never even used, but we have it. You can see that the weather's destroyed the bottom. So she had to build a new bottom, but it's an outside shower. My bathroom, back of the house, door, Lily again who looks hot and thirsty. And let's see what else, what else, what else, what else. Oh, let me see if I can show you guys the little fish. Oh, orchids, look how pretty this orchid is. I've been watering these orchids. No, come out, come out, come out. There's those dogs again. Okay, I don't know if you guys can see the little fish in here. No, you can't. But that plant is literally growing from the water. You can see it. And to my cousin Christiana, look at the two big tanks that we have. I'm gonna see if my mom doesn't want them and send them to you, Christiana, because I think you would like these. Now, I think they might be the same as yours. I'm not sure. Let me know, comment below, cuz, if that's the same as yours. But she has two. She used to breed fish, but what happened was she cracked the glass and all the fish went on the floor and died. And so she hasn't bought any more. She had like over 500 different fish in here at one time. And then this one down here, as you can see, it's separate. But yeah, that's a koi fish pond looking thing. And then the hot tub, they built this table. It's a round table. We used to have a square table and my mom and dad built this. It's really nice. We haven't sat it, as you can see, there's stuff around it, but we, we used to, we used to. They did for Thanksgiving, actually. They did sit out here for Thanksgiving, but I didn't sit out at it. But look at the koi fish again, or not koi fish, look at the, these things are so pretty. That is just so pretty to me. And then this pretty archway. Um, so yeah, guys, that's pretty much the backyard. I mean, we, we, we could have had a pool, but coworkers at my dad's job talked him out of it and he didn't get the pool for us because he's like, your kids will barely use it. And I'm like, that's not true. We would have used it, me and my brother. Cause we both took swim lessons. I could have been like the next Michael Phelps cause I was such a good swimmer. Like really, 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 really good. But um, yeah. So now my pool is open guys. So you won't, will, you oh, can't talk. You will see me exercising in the pool guys soon. As soon as I can like, cause I might just walk up there and get in the pool and swim like literally. So you guys will definitely see me working out in the pool, exercising. I'll do a swimming blog. Me and Jama are going to do that. Um, so yeah, guys, and pray for me, guys. I have an interview tomorrow for TJ Fridays. Let's hope that I get it, guys, because that would be really cool. And I could show you guys that um, interview and not show you the interview, but definitely let you guys like know if I got it. And then there's more plants over there because the neighbors who lived next door to us before this new neighbors, they were from 
Oh my God, where were they from? They weren't from China. They were from, oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, where were they from? They were from Vietnam. They were from Vietnam. And they grew so much stuff and they would bring us stuff all the time. And they would make lumpia and they would make so much stuff and they would just bring it to us and knock on the door because we knew them because they owned their own nail salon. And so my mom would go to them a lot to get their feet done and stuff. And she sent business to them. But what happened was they just got tired of running the business by themselves. So they ended up quit. They ended up just like retiring, but going to work for somebody else. And that's what happened to them. So, but they're really sweet people. And then this is basically like the, to the front of the house. And then my brother, I didn't show you guys. My brother built this solar box for us. So we actually do have a solar box. My brother built that for us. And then these are little pretty flowers that won't die. We've tried to kill them. They will not die. They're so annoying and so bushy and big. I mean, you see that? How bushy and big. They actually take up the whole sidewalk that we built. So another tour of the backyard. Okay. It's a nice sunny day here. I feel sorry for the people that are in the snow. I'd rather be in the snow because it's really pretty videos you can make in the snow. But... Not really, because I get cold easy, so I probably would not want to be in the snow. I'm trying to see if I can show you guys the goldfish. You see them down there? They're down there hiding. They're really big. They will get really big. And all I do is feed them one handful a day so they don't get too big. And then the mint is really good in a mint tea. Oh my gosh, it's so delicious. A really good mint tea is delicious, guys. A mint tea. Or mint tea, mint ice cream. Oh my God, is my favorite. My favorite, favorite, favorite is really good. Mint ice cream or chocolate chip or cookie dough. I mean, I can't even have that stuff anymore, but I eat it sometimes. So, but yeah, guys. Oh no, they're coming out, they're coming out. Can you guys see them? They're kind of coming. They're big. They were in our, our, our fish tank and they have grown. Like, really, really big. They've grown really fast. But yeah, guys, it's kind of like a tour of my backyard. And just letting you guys see it, letting you guys know what's back here. One day, when those mangoes come in, I'll do like a part two to it so you guys can see the mangoes when they sprout for people who don't know what mangoes are. Um, and then I let you guys know how that goes. And then I should let you guys see the potatoes one more time. But this is how potatoes come, guys. They come in the ground like this. And they get big like that and then they pick them and sell them to you. So this is where your french fries, your mashed potatoes and everything come from. Make sure to like and subscribe. Goodbye guys. Love you.